Hello YouTubers, this is Yorkshireman, Mark. Thought I'd give you an update on what's going on with me. Well, special. you know, I can't give you an update on my diabetes because I haven't seen diabetes nurse, but I have been for a blood test today. I have done some videos what I've put up, which you may have already seen. And I thought I'd just do a, a general chat and update. Yes, I know, I need a shave, don't I? But never mind. Um, so, basically... I thought, well, yeah, I've been for a blood test today, down at my doctor's, that went okay, pretty fine. Um, been taking that metformin, um, well, I don't know what it does, but it's working, well, I suppose, but I find out when I see diabetes nurse and things like that. Um, this cold weather, though, just <laughs> it does funny things, it really does, but like I said, I, I went for a blood test today, I did a, a bits and bats of filming, and I put up on that. So, there we go. So I thought I'd show you this film. What I got last last time over at Sainsbury's. Now, uh, it's Death Race. And that, it's no guards, no rules, no trap, no fear. Uh, so there you go. And it's beyond, it's, it's Death Race beyond anarchy. So there you go. So that's what I thought I'd do today and that. So yes. Yeah. So basically, that's the film what I've got. I got. Put that book up there now. Um it's in the last time over there. Captain and Bags. I know I've got it sometime last week. I've got it before. Yeah. Me, me uh, diabetes and things like that. But I thought, I just thought I'd give you a quick update on that. Um I will be doing some more filming. Um, and that uh, I'm gonna try and get some canals in and that you know canal in at least one canal and a couple of things and that and and do um, so wherever I go I'll take my phone and things like that and, and, and do some filming and that um, <laughs> which is good fun it, it was quite interesting there when I were walking home and I were filming cars were beeping and waving I thought that was quite funny. I thought that was, yeah, I mean, quite, quite hilarious. A um, few people moaned because I was doing it, but at the end of the day, um, I'm not breaking the law. I'm, I'm, I'm filming what, what I want to film. I'm, sh I'm, I'm showing you what I want to show you and explaining what I want to explain, if, yeah, if it makes any sense, really. But yeah, as you can see, I'm a little bit happier. Um, last time, the first video about my diabetes was to tell you that I've been diagnosed with that was shell shock. I tell you, a complete shock to that. Um, talked to a few, I talked to a friend of mine and talked to his ears off basically. But I get, I've got my head around it now, and and I, I know how serious it was. My blood uh, glucose level, you know, the the blood level, um, glu uh, you know, sugar in your blood basically, uh, blood glucose level was hundred and seven, which is a very high. And that's why my doctor was so concerned, and that's why she was surprised when I walked into to, to her surgery. But I did walk in. I mean, I, I showed no symptoms whatsoever. So yeah, I've done all I can to, you know, I've cut out a lot of sugar. I've cut out a lot, of, especially chocolate and things like that. I've cut all that out. Um, I found sugar-free mints, what I can have. Yeah, it's not like sugar, but there you go. It's not like chocolate, but yeah, being in reality, I was, I, I, was, I was eating too much chocolate. Um, like I says, I'm gonna start cycling again. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get my legs going on that, and hopefully get this weight down. The more and more I walk, the, the better, the better. But every time I go out, I will be taking my phone, and I, and I will be filming, no matter where I go. You know what I mean? So it it will be. Well, I think it'll be interesting. People might get, you know. Think, think I'm boring but there's not much I can do I ain't gonna go wild camping in winter I know some people do but I'm not <laughs> uh, for one I ain't got a four season tent so that's what I need is a four season tent um, and that but I've, I've got a way around things and that because I know I go outdoors I sell in bivvy bags now so yeah they've got an OEX bivvy bag for 39.99 so I'm thinking of getting that and teaming that up with OEX bush tap and going out with that and that will give me what you know basically a nice a nice little slice of yeah 
nice way of uh, backpacking say it's taking a bulky tent doesn't it and that uh, i've noticed that go outdoors uh, yeah, yeah, yeah i mean they haven't, they haven't got many tents in i suppose because it's winter but when it comes up towards summer again they'll get more in i hope well i hope so because there is one of oex tents i do want um but i didn't get a chance to get it this time around but never mind hopefully next time and that so i just thought i'd give you a bit of an update um yeah i've been to yeah like i said i've been to doctors i've had my bloods done can't really say much about that i see diabetes nurse on thursday and that so yeah i will be doing some videos when i'm out and about like i says um hopefully i'll be cycling before long well i've got to save up and get a, a bike so i'll do that and see what i can do <laughs> so that's really it but um that's all 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 i wanted to say actually but there you go but the videos what i put up what you you, you may see hopefully before this the videos what i put up well uh, i think the first one is where i'm walking around the cemetery now that's on film Farnhill street in wakefield is it, it, that cemetery and it's like it's like when you're walking up it's like you you're walking into town it's not exactly the, it's the beginning of the town centre basically it's down on you know you know if i cut through an alley i come out onto bot mccurgy but it's like the beginning of it if you know what i mean but it's an unusual spot really <laughs> for that cemetery but i, I thought it was a good thing to film in that because it's nice and small um and that and then then you've got the medical trinity center which you can see uh, well well and that and i thought i filmed that yeah um i'm going to do a series of video well, i'm going to do a, a series of videos hopefully me showing you a marina in wakefield from a bridge and then hopefully going down to fall you know falling locks at bellevue in wakefield and filming that because at falling locks that's my complete childhood i i used to live on Demart street in bellevue well number 29 actually Demart street in bellevue I, that's where i was brought up there with my mum and my stepdad. Well, I used to go down at Canal. My mum said, you know, my mum used to play hell with me because I used to go down there. She thinking that, that I might drown and that. But I didn't. I didn't drown, obviously. But that's where my old area, where I, where I was playing. And I used to, I, I used to help people with boats and that and, you know, doing locks for them and that and things like that. And every now and again, I get a ride on one. So that made my day, did that? Well, well, I'm going to show you that, and I'm going to show you how it's changed because it has changed a hell of a lot, um, and that because they put fences up. Now you can't fall into it really because they put a bit of a fence up um, where where boats berths and that, which I can understand why they've done that. But never mind. Brim was never like that before, but it is what it is today. So that's what I'm going to do. Then I might um, later on do a video of where I go locally to a park in Wakefield, which is called Thorns Park. Uh, but it's three parks in one, basically. But uh, yeah, I can I can do that. I can show you where the duck pond is, you know, all the big gardens where, where the greenhouses are. I can show you that bit on video and do that on video and then show you, well, here, here we go, show you where the duck pond is, but there's geese on it as well. So and things like that. Do that and then and then hopefully show you the rest of the part later on, basically. You know what I mean? And that's that will be that then. And then once I've done that, then I can then I can show you the bottom of Kirgit, how, how, how that's changed, and that and how things are changing in Wakefield. I don't know if it's changing for the better or for the worse. Really, um, it's getting unrecognisable. Really, it's not like it used to be. I mean, we have now really. We still have an outside market, but it's not as good as it used to be. And that's why we used to get tourists because of that market, basically. We used to have a great big market out there and we're closing the new one down. And they're going to build a cinema on that, on the, on there, next to bus station. And a lot of people are going to be yeah, shocked about that, aren't they? Yeah, there's going to be a new cinema. So again, there will be two. I don't know if there will be two because we've got Cine World down, down near me. And then we'll have that one up on uh, up near bus station. And have that one there. And um, that will be two, um, and, and that'll be it then. But we used to have an old cinema on Kirga, ABC Eagle, and before it, you know, before it shut down, I used to go in there and 
pay a quid and watch a film basically it was quite a good film <laughs> until they shut it down and when you were paying a pound to watch a film that's basically the end beginning of the end of the cinema because they were building the cine world when that was going on and then what people didn't realize is they shut that down it's open cine world which is now a bit it's expensive really but there you go but that's the issue so so that'll be the kind of thing what i'm doing i, I just thought i'd update you and, and, and let you know what i'm thinking of doing and hopefully you either you like it or you don't well if you don't you know what i mean so if you like this video and you like me ranting on thumbs up and like it subscribe if you're new hit the little bell right about there hit the little bell and you get notified when notification yeah notifications and that and you'll get notified when i put up a video hopefully and please share it with your friends or oh, um, you know please share it with everyone i will be grateful and if you've got any comments comment below i do read comments um i do try to answer as much as i can but if you've got any comments and, and they're helpful let me know and things like that so there you go so right so i'll catch you all later and hopefully you'll see the video in a couple of days and I, i'll catch you later bye for now Hopefully, have fun. Goodbye for now. Bye!